Hey guys, Super Retro Kid here. I want to do a quick video of demonstrating measuring the leg on my uh, Sony 20M4U PVM. Uh, what I have here is uh, the Time Sleuth, which is a uh, leg tester uh, created by Citrus 3000 PSI. And I have a HDMI to component uh, converter that he'd recommended on his site. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, what, the slime, what the Time Sleuth does is it has a knob here that will switch between uh, 240p, 480i, and 480p, and it will output that signal to a monitor. Then on the back side of it, it has a photodiode that will detect uh, the signal uh, blinking on the screen and it'll tell you how much latency there is between uh, what this de device sending the signal and when this device detects the signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this component converter and I'm going to hook it up to uh, my PVM. So this is what the interface looks like of the time sleuth. So what I'm going to do is take this and you can see when I'm on it, when I'm, when I'm not on it, this LED will stay solid. When I'm on it, it'll blink. So each of these sections measure a little differently. I think on a CRT, It draws, I think it draws top to bottom on the CRT. So like the bottom, you're gonna measure the most latency versus the middle or the top. So you measure like At the top, I'm measuring 0.45 milliseconds. At the middle, uh, the middle is kind of fluctuating, but I don't know, between two and zero milliseconds. And then the bottom, I'm measuring like 14. See, I think it's so low though that it's tough to get an accurate reading. And typically 16 milliseconds is one frame of leg. So that's uh, how you measure the latency on a CRT, which is basically zero. And I, I have this device, the Time Sleuth, then I have this device, uh, the Leo Bodnar uh, HDMI tester, which does the same thing, except this one only outputs 1080p over HDMI. And I kind of have all this set up because I'm going to be doing another video shortly where I'm, uh, I ordered one of the HD retro, 
Ret or on HD Retro Revision's website, they have like a third party product section and they have uh, LCD TVs that they recommend because for as far as handling 240p content and stuff. And I ordered one of those monitors. So I kind of have all this set up because I'm going to measure uh, the, the latency over component when I get that monitor and see if that monitor is low enough latency to where you could have like the this 8x2 G comp switch with a bunch of HD retrovision cables and whether you could use the LCD without a scaler. So this is Super Retrocade. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.